Welcome to the analysis of one of the most beautiful and reflective poems of all times. The poem that we shall be analyzing today is Leisure by William Henry Davis. The written explanation of this poem is also available on our website. The link of which is given in the description box below. Now let's introduce the poem first. William Davis in this poem reflects upon the bitter truth of our lives. The poet in the poem has talked about how we human beings do not have time to appreciate nature, how we are constantly running to make ends meet, how we are constantly alienating ourselves from nature and how important leisure is once in a while to relieve ourselves from the stress and anxiety that the modern world has imposed upon us. Now let's read the text of the poem. What is this life if Full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. No time to see when woods we pass where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see in broad daylight streams full of stars like skies at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich the smile her eyes began. A poor life this is, if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Now as we can see, the poem Leisure is divided into seven stanzas. Each stanza consists of two lines, hence a couplet. The rhyme scheme of the poem is AA, BB, CC and so on. Coming towards the poetic devices that are used in the poem, the first poetic device that we are going to talk about is personification. Personification is giving human attributes to non-human things. In the following lines, for example, no time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance, the poet has given beauty the attributes of human beings like glancing and dancing. The second poetic device, alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of first sound of words closely placed together within a line. The sound of S is repeated in stand and stare. The sound of B is repeated in beneath the bows. Now simile is a poetic device where the poet compares two unlike things by using like or as. In the following line for example, streams full of stars like skies at night, the poet has compared the streams with the skies by using like. In this poem, the poet William Davis criticizes human beings of the modern world for their busy life that make them busy enough that they have no time to enjoy the beauty of nature. The poet opens the poem with a question, why is this life full of care? And at the end, he answers his question after analyzing the lives of the human beings and calls his life a poor life if we have no time to enjoy nature. He satirizes human beings and prefers animals that have time to see the natural beauty. He says that we are busy enough that we cannot enjoy the beautiful scenery of nature. He provides beautiful imagery of the reflection of sun rays over a stream, but we have lost our happiness and peace of mind. We remain busy with the worldly pursuits and miss the delights of the natural world. This was a brief analysis of the poem. Thank you for being here. And again, if you need the written explanation of the poem, you are more than welcome to our website. See ya.